Yo, what's up guys, so welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video I'm going to give you a full on optimization guide guys to improve your FPS in Fortnite and really get the maximum performance out of your gaming PC. I'm literally going to show you all of the most beneficial steps in order to actually improve your FPS in Fortnite but keep in mind guys this works basically for any other game so therefore if you're maybe trying to see this you know for Valorant or Warzone whatsoever you can use the same guide basically. But if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would have made so so much effort any further ado let's get straight this topic and you guys for the first step now i'm going to show you a super simple trick how you can actually increase your fps basically on any pc without any tool whatsoever what i want you to do in the first place is open up your task manager guys and just simply go over here now over to details and once we're in here we're going to click here now onto memory usage and we're going to click once onto it and then again and then we can see all the tools on your pc which take a huge chunk of your overall memory guys and you can see a something like camera hub which i use for my elgato webcam you know in order to put some effects on there or green skin stuff like that it takes over 1.5 gigs of my ram guys so therefore i'm definitely gonna end this test here go onto it boom and it's already disabled then next up we have something like discord 227 megabytes of my ram in the background guys so therefore if you're actually trying to get more fps in fortnite definitely make sure that you use the in-game voice chat guys it's actually so much worth it i mean you freed up just like that over 200 megabytes of your ram and especially on a more low end or like budget pc with like four to eight gigs of ram this can be a lot and make a huge difference guys so therefore what i want you to do is go through this whole entire list and really try to disable all the tools which you don't need while just purely gaming fortnite you know something like streamlabs obs if you don't record right now turn it off you know then something like discord try to go into a lobby and try to talk like over the fortnite voice chat with your friends you know it makes such a huge difference guys yeah all these tools in the background make sure to disable as much as possible yeah and then once you're done with that guys you already freed up a huge chunk of your overall system memory which is going to improve your fps and with that said we're done here with this first step the next up guys what we're going to do is go into our windows search bar and just simply type in background until you can find background application system settings open it up here guys and it should look exactly like this here then we have no background applications and pretty much everything which we don't need on our pc really 3d viewer don't need it guys this is like for modeling or something like that on your pc if you're trying to build something or some stuff like that then we have cortana disney plus feedback hub groove music never use that in my life guys so therefore what you actually can do is just simply make sure that you turn all of them off here with this one switch and you're already done just like that boom guys all these processes are stopped already in the background nothing complicated of course you can also turn it on on and make sure to enable a few ones which you maybe need which for me would be something like my minecraft launcher my nvidia control panel then here for the rest i can turn basically everything off i don't need it straight up just like this here boom going through this whole entire list guys make sure to disable everything which is absolutely unnecessary something like xbox console companion i don't need it i don't stream my xbox actually over onto my pc i can turn it off and just like that you already disabled a ton of services in the background costing you important fps while playing fortnite then just simply close it and now let's continue with the next step so guys and for this next step now we're gonna go again into our windows search bar and just simply type in delete until we can find delete temporary files open it up guys and it will check your whole entire disk no matter what you use you know like your main windows disk and it's gonna tell you exactly how much temporary data you have on there guys and you can see it right now on my disk i have a ton of files actually which are temporary files 23.2 gigabytes of unused files you know they're just like cache files laying on my pc you know some saved data from like maybe like a previous windows update or whenever i launch a game actually and some stuff like that so therefore i can 100 percent completely clear them and you can see now under temporary files guys we have now downloads here recycling bin and then we also have delivery optimization files and if we actually clean all of these here that's 25 gigabytes which we just cleaned up on our pc so what we're gonna do is select all of them guys and then just simply click here now onto remove files and you can see now everything got removed from my pc and just like that we cleaned up 25 gigs and really guys if you didn't do this for a long time it might be even more like a friend of mine had over 100 gigabytes in temporary files on his pc and he was like wondering yo why is my pc running so slow well that might be a cost to that so therefore make sure to always check your temporary files you can of course also use the other ones here you know something like videos desktop other apps and features and they can maybe also find something here on apps and features which you can deinstall maybe you have like old games on your pc we all know it you download yourself a game you played maybe once and especially if it's a game like warzone that's like 100 gigabytes as well on its own yeah 
And if you don't really play it, just uninstall it from your PC, guys, and you're gonna free up so much space. Because actually, guys, if there is less data on a hard drive, on a SSD, whatsoever, it's actually running faster. So therefore, kind of like try to keep it really in a good stage, you know? As soon as it goes to this like yellow or red stage, you know it's going to slow down your PC. And with that said, we're already done here, guys, now, and let's continue with the next step. So guys, and for this next step, I prepared for you now here a Fortnite Ultimate FPS Booster Pack, which you can get on my website, guys. And I'm just gonna show you exactly how to do it just simply go on the first link in the description where you can find my website and here on the top it already says fps boost input delay or stretch resolution and what you guys are going to do is click onto fps boost you might maybe get like a small pop-up ad which you can just simply close and once you get redirected guys there should be no post here on the top with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now there are also a bunch of other posts which you can check out and then once you get redirected again simply scroll down until you can find this download button which is going to redirect you to google drive from where you can get this pack guys and once we get it here just simply extract it onto your desktop and then you're going to open it up like this here and in the first place we have gpu power management which we're going to open up guys and in there we have and in there we gotta have disabled gpu energy drivers super super important just making sure your gpu is pretty much gonna work at 100 percent guys and disable power throttling you're gonna enable both of these here just simply click onto it and click onto yes to add it to your registry the same as well with the second one and then we're already done here then we're gonna go to refresh network settings guys and in there we have a bunch of cmd commands which we can use in total you know to make sure that we also decrease our ping actually and what we're gonna do only is open up our CMD, right click onto it, run it as an administrator, click onto yes guys, and then you're gonna paste both of these here into the CMD just like that, net int IP reset, then you're gonna click onto okay, and you can see now that your whole entire IP basically got reset, and then as well our net winstock reset guys, which is also going to reset another data on our PC. And this just overall gonna give us a lot less ping because we basically cleaned all the info of our network provider and then we basically gonna close this here now, go back, go into registry tweak guys and in there now we have stuff like diagnostic services, disable background applications, disable the game bar, game DVR, maps, printer services, transparency, Xbox services, we can put Fortnite on high priority mode, limited user account control, power throttling, smooth, and pretty much like anything which can be disabled on our PC with like zero issues guys. So therefore apply each and every single one of them just simply like that to your PC. Double click onto it, click onto yes and you can apply all of these here to your PC and disable a bunch of processes in the background which are going to cost you important FPS while trying to run Fortnite and then afterwards just simply restart your PC and you're already good to go. Yeah guys, as additional step, I also want to showcase you no ping which can not only help you to reduce your ping here in Fortnite because it can find the server in your near with the least amount of latency but we also have a built-in FPS booster which we have here on the top as it already says. This option will boost the FPS of your game, those give you a better performance and we also have something to reduce our input delay which would be turbo games this function improves the keyboard response guys and this is gonna make your keyboard a lot faster with less latency and improve your fps guys so therefore you can enable both of these here and additionally as mentioned also search for the server in your near with the least amount of ping which for me would be netherlands 04 guys and what's also a cool extra is let's just say as an example that i want to play na east cup as a eu player or you're from na and you want to play eu cup you can see here now guys that I can select the NA server with the least amount of ping to help me to have lower ping when I'm trying to play maybe on a different region. But then as an extra step actually having like lower ping is going to help you out of course with hitting your shots. So therefore that's like a cool feature you know. You can also search for like different other regions and lower your ping. And as mentioned it also has this FPS booster built in everything. And with the link in the description guys you can get 20% off which is just amazing. And you can by the way also test it out for 7 days so therefore please make sure to check it out. Hashtag add guys and now let's continue with the video and yeah guys with that said this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would have made so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below or also don't forget to join the discord you know discord.gg slash lost stripes just as right now here on screen guys we have over 70,000 active members so therefore yeah if you have any questions you can just simply ask there keep in mind guys my mods get a lot of questions every day so therefore yeah give them like one or two days you know and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace Thank you